Hey guys, so if you click this, you me it means that you guys want to know about joining the military. So when I join the military, I join under a PLAR. What is a PLAR? A PLAR is a assessment of your skill traits, if you have some. So I join as a cook, and when I was overseas. As in, on a civilian job for two years and I loved it I loved it very much but when I got home I was bored out of my mind I'm used I was used to the rush and so I decided to call up the local recruiter and ask them do you guys have direct entry so direct entry is only for people that have qualifications to be accepted under the direct entry so I asked him, hey, do you have this? He said, yeah. It's like, okay, I'm coming in tomorrow. He's like, okay, no problem. So I, can't, I went down to, I was living in Ottawa at the time, so I went downtown. And I asked, and I brought all my stuff. And I was like, I would like to reopen my uh, application and apply for Cook. He's like, okay, cool. No problem. You won't have to do the CFET. So I was like, okay, cool. No problem. So what is uh, CFET is a Canadian Forces Aptitude Test. So the recruiters here they don't play they don't tell you one thing to get you into a job that you don't want to do. They will advise you on what you should take, what they think you are okay with, and but the all the ultimate um, op ability and option is under you. So if you don't do the if you do the CFAT, that's the one thing that will tell you what you can do and what you can't do. If you don't do it, well, you're not getting in unless your trade's qualified. So once that happens, you'll go in and do your other test. Your other test is about your personality. They want to know about you. Once you've done that, you do your medical. For medical you do your interview and then you wait well I did all that and I was fine then when I did my interview I was nervous as hell and it went very smoothly so other than that I waited for about a month maybe two months I got an email saying, congratulations, you joined. I was happy as hell, almost crying, called my parents. So we went to my enrollment ceremony on the 6th of November. It was fine. We had a general do the uh, enrollment. Then we got told, then the group of us that did it got told, you're leaving in 12 days. Pack up. It's like, oh, cool, sweet. So I did my boot camp in the winter. So when I packed up all my stuff, we left early. We got to Saint Jean Restelou, the Canadian Forces Recruit School and Leadership Training. So I got into the, I walked through the door, parents gave me a hug, got yelled at saying that, take off your damn hat. Well, military life, here we go. Walked in, sat down, did my paperwork, met some people, and then it was time for us to go upstairs. So we were marching, going upstairs, carrying all of our bags upstairs, no elevators. We were on the seventh floor. So I packed for two months or six weeks, whatever you want to look at it. And I had a lot of stuff. So I was chucking up there, no problem. Got uh, to my room, no one knew what to do. So I was like, let's make our beds put her stuff away 
and so we're ahead of the game. They're like, good idea. So we did that, and we were right on the ball. So we were wearing civvies until thir the Thursday of that first week. And then we got our uniform, so we went to supply, we went to the Canex, got all of our stuff, haircuts, you name it. So from there, we start doing our training. Now I won't go into detail about the recruit school until our next video, if you guys want to hear about it. If you guys also want to hear about cooking in the military, you want to learn about cooking too, let me know and we'll do that in the next short videos. Or anything you want to know about, let me know and we'll get that going. So have a great day. My name is Tag. It's actually my initials. And have a great Navy day. See ya.